Hey guys, welcome back to another Jibber Jab news update for the Galaxy Watch 4 as well as the Active Watch 4. And by the way, if you guys missed the last update that I did, then make sure you click on the link above because I shared a lot of information about the devices there already and I don't want to repeat myself too much in this video as I just want to share the latest information that I've received. So with that being said, let's get started. Now the first piece of intel comes from a recent report by The Elect, which states that the 41mm Galaxy Watch 4 is going to feature a 240 milliamp hour battery size, and that's actually a slight decrease from the similarly sized Galaxy Watch 3. And then the 45mm version of the Galaxy Watch 4 may actually see a slight increase in size to 350 milliamps over its predecessor. Now both the decrease and the increase are pretty minimal here and it remains to be seen if this is actually going to affect the performance either way compared to the current versions available, but I'd have to guess that the differences won't be noticeable at all. Now the main reason for the change seems to be related to cost. The batteries are going to be supplied by Samsung SDI as well as China's Amperex Technology Limited or ATL, with the latter supplier providing a reduced cost for its batteries. Now you may remember that ATL was actually excluded from the Samsung supply chain back in 2017 because of Galaxy Note 7 fires, but they resumed using them again in 2019. And this is the same company that's also recently provided the batteries for the Galaxy S21 smartphones so it looks like that they have restored their reputation enough with Samsung to include them in their other product lines such as smartwatches. And just a quick clarification, ATL will supply the batteries only for the 41 millimeter version, while Samsung SDI is gonna be providing batteries for the 45 millimeter model. Okay, the other piece that I want to mention is actually related to health tracking functionality. And here we could see a brand new feature added to the device in terms of being able to offer built-in glucose monitoring. And this would be really helpful to users with diabetes to be able to manage and track their blood sugar levels. Now, according to a report from Korea IT News, the device is going to utilize an optical sensor to detect glucose levels. And of course, this is all gonna be done without actually having to draw blood. Now, I definitely think this would be a very cool and useful functionality to have, particularly for people that actually need to monitor their levels on a regular basis. But that being said, we've heard similar claims about blood pressure and ECG functionality out of the box. So we all know that didn't happen for the Galaxy Watch 3 when it was released. So while I'm all for new technologies to improve or enhance the lives of users, I think we also need to take these kind of claims with a grain of salt, considering the track record of previous functionality the company has announced that would be available out of the box before. However, I wouldn't be surprised to see this functionality on the device because according to reports available about the Apple Watch 7, which would be Samsung's direct rival by the way, it's also rumored to have the same functionality available. So at least on paper, this would make sense to offer this functionality in Samsung smartwatch if it really wants to compete with another powerhouse smartwatch. Okay, the last piece that I want to mention is in terms of a release date. Now, Twitter tipster Ice Universe told us to expect to see the new devices launch in the second quarter of 2021, which would fall into the April, May, June timeframe. And this would actually be earlier than Samsung's previous smartwatch launches, which typically fall into the late summer or early fall period. So unfortunately, I don't have an official release date to share with you guys here, but the Galaxy Watch 3 was launched alongside the Note 20 last August so expect to see a similar move with the Galaxy Watch 4 and the Note 21 within the same time frame this year however if there is any more shared about the release date I will certainly let you guys know so what do you guys think about the battery size decreases and increases for the two models do you think those small differences are going to actually result in real world changes and assuming this feature is available out of the box, would having a blood glucose monitor be something important for you or at least important enough to be able to splurge on getting the Galaxy Watch 4? Let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, I'm gonna continue to keep my ear to the ground and let you guys know about further updates. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and I'll catch you all in our next video. Until then, take care.
Thanks again for watching our review and if you liked it then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends because with your support it really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways and of course fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.